All right. Welcome to launch um, lesson one, which we're going to be uh, diving into smart plans. Uh, the launch program is really meant for people who have uh, already taken care of the basics, the uh, uh, preparing for liftoff classes, um, and have a general idea of uh, what command can do. And now I want to start using it to generate business from the people that are already in their database. They are. Uh, sphere of influence, old contacts, any leads that have been sitting around for a while. Because for any one of us, you know, this is going to make up the, the bulk of the transactions that we do. So uh, the very first way to, to be reaching out to these people is through any sort of systemized follow-up plan uh, or campaign. And in command, we call that smart plans. And you find smart plans on the, uh, the left-hand side here. Uh, you just hover over the fourth icon down is smart plans and you click on that it's going to open up your smart plans uh, that you currently have yours right now might very well be empty uh, i have a, a long list because i've been kind of active with them and now you can add uh, smart plans to your list one of two ways first is by going to the library and finding the keller williams produced canned smart plans of which they're always adding more i believe there's 10 right now and the other way to add smart plans is to actually create them on your own so we're going to do both of those uh, just real quickly. First, we're going to venture on over here to the library. And like I said, there's going to be a list of about 10 smart plans. Let me just move myself out of the way here a little bit. So uh, there are 10 smart plans. And uh, to see the steps that are involved, you can sort of uh, click on them uh, where it says view steps. And it will open up where you can look at all the uh, all the steps that they have. There's only a few in this one. Yeah, the eight by eight might have a few more. So you can kind of see exactly what it is. Now for any uh, task or any touch that um, has a sent SMS, MMS um, message, that's just a text message. What is going to happen is if you have your Twilio account uh, connected to command, it's going to automatically send this text message out on your behalf. I'm going to show you how, how it works. Um, and if you do not, what will happen is you'll get a task, you'll get a daily task to send that text message manually. And they'll even give you um, a script for it. Same deal with uh, any emails that are meant to go out. Uh, if it's an email and you have your um, command email set up in settings, then it will automatically go out on your behalf. If not, you'll be given a task uh, reminder to do so. So they have these uh, these canned smart plans all set to go. And if any of them are of interest to you, all you have to do is click on Add Smart Plan, and it will move from just being in the library to My Smart Plan. So you can start to add them to your um, to your contacts at that point. You cannot add a contact to Smart Plan until they they are in your Smart Plans. The idea is that down the road they're going to have a huge library of uh, smart plans that are going to be available to you some even created by agents and uh, that you'll be picking and choosing the ones that make the most amount of sense to you and your business uh, just a, a couple words on the existing ones um, for the birthday smart plan and uh, for the um, home anniversary smart plan uh, you, you need to have inputted information into the contact themselves obviously their birth date um, it doesn't matter what year you put, but as long as you have the, the correct uh, day and month, uh, then you'll um, then it'll go off properly. And for home anniversary, just uh, when a when a property was purchased by the contact, so uh, you need to have those included. Um, some might also need email addresses included and, and the like. Uh, if you try to add a contact to a smart plan, if you don't have that information, you'll get an error notice telling you what exactly you need to do. So, uh, like I said, we have ten smart plans there. And uh, what we can do is go back to my smart plans. And uh, if we wanted to find a smart plan or create a smart plan to fill a hole for uh, um, smart plans that exist right now. For example, uh, we spend a lot of time talking about the, the Facebook lead generation, uh, but there is no follow up plan, uh, no smart plan for those kinds of leads. So you'd want to create one on your own. Or you might find that one of the smart plans um, that you think you could do a better job of or one that suits your business better is probably uh, the right way to say things uh, what you can do to existing smart plans though before i go on to showing you how to create your own is uh on some of them like the open house follow-up that they have created you do see that you're able to edit it as well so you might want to take that option first before creating from scratch 
So uh, to create a new smart plane, you just go up to create. You have to give it a name. Uh, you also have a couple of, of categories, um, like category and trigger event, that right now exist in, in name only. They're, they're not real things. Uh, I, I do know that trigger events will be uh, if you want a smart plan to automatically be assigned to a contact um, without you having to manually add it, uh, that is called a trigger event. For example, if somebody came in as a Facebook lead and you don't want to have to manually add them to the smart plan, you just wanted to take off on its own, that, that could be your trigger event. But that's down the road. As of right now, we cannot do that, but we will hit apply and I'll show you exactly what uh, the smart plan looks like when you create it. So back over here. Maybe I think where I'm best suited here. Okay, uh, so here's your smart plan on the left hand side. There's nothing there, uh, and you do have seven options uh, for actions that you can take. Uh, you can create a task like a send a mailer. Um, for me, I would add somebody to a bomb bomb list, something like that. Uh, make a call. In which case you'd be given a task to make a phone call and uh, if you were to check that task off as completed it'll prompt you to record what was uh, discussed in the conversation um, you can send an email like i said if your command email is already connected this will go out automatically you can pre-write it here and i'll just send it on out uh, same deal with uh, the sms text if your twilio account is already connected uh, it'll go out automatically otherwise it'll be prompted with a task to do so you can set a delay anywhere between one and 30 days. You can add to a new smart plan or add to a different smart plan. So when this one uh, reaches its, its, its conclusion, you can automatically add a contact into another smart plan. Uh, you can also restart the flow, meaning if this is something that's going to be repeat, repeated, if you wanted to uh, set up a, a system where you're calling a, a, a contact once a month, every month, what you could do is you know set a call, give it a 30-day uh, delay, and then restart flow. So then it would just restart it over and over again. So we're just going to show you how this looks when you when you build out your smart plan. Um, we'll, we'll just do a few of these right now. Uh, if uh, right when a, a lead comes in, you might want to send a text message. So all you have to do is click on the action that you want to add, and you'll see it populate in the smart plan. So we're just going to click on send SMS dash MMS to send a text message, really. And uh, what you have here is just a blank text message. Now you can see that it says that my Twilio account has already been connected. I'm given a couple of options in terms of the message type, whether it's static or dynamic. Static means the same text message will go out to all the contacts who are on this plan, uh, regardless of you know how many times they might have gone on it. A dynamic uh, text message means that you can create multiple text messages. It will just rotate through those uh, the first uh, lead on this plan will get the first one, the second lead will get the second message, and so on. That might be valuable if you're finding that, um, for just looking at Facebook leads as an example, uh, you're having the same contacts request information over and over again. You want to make sure they're getting a different response every time. Uh, just as an example, that thought off, off the top of my head. So what you would need to do here is uh, write out that text message. So I, you could say something simple like, hi there, hi person, I don't know. Uh, or you can actually say their first name, uh, which is kind of cool. Now, you might not know who the what the first name is, and you would have to use what we call a merge field, which can be found here on the right-hand side. All you have to do is hit the little arrow here, and the options are all available. Uh, let me just bring this guy back up again. So you say, hi, contact first name. And what would show up if the contact first name was Jane, it would say, hi, Jane. You just do something simple like that. Uh, I have much more uh, in-depth text messages, but just want to show you exactly how it looks. Um, at this point, what you can do is uh, you can minimize it here, which would kind of eliminate uh, a lot of the, the text so that it you know, just makes it easier to see. I'm um, going to open it back up again. Uh, you have the ability to move it up and down. Obviously, there's nothing else there, so you can't really move it up or down. You can delete the step, or you can just uh, save um the the smart plan if you click to save it uh just one thing if you have any un um unedited uh action steps 
um, it might prompt you that you have to you know, complete uh, all of them first. For example, if you didn't write in a text here and try to save it, it would tell you that you can't save unless you complete all the action steps. So anyway, I can save now. You delete here. Now let's just say, my head just in the way here, huh? Let's just say we are going to uh, set a delay of one day, say that. And on day two, I want to uh, send an email, make a call, and create a task. And what you'll see is all three of those, I just clicked on them, have now populated in that order. So you can give it a, give the subject line, this is an email here, a uh, subject, um, so that's gonna show up when they receive the email. You can see that my command email has already been uh, set up, so it's gonna automatically be sent out from me. Uh, now, same deal, I can um, use merge fields. Maybe I wanna do first name and last name. You're crazy like that. And you can see it automatically puts a space in here nicely for you. Uh, and you can just type out the email. Uh, you can uh, add a hyperlink. Uh, so if you want to bring them off to your website, if, you, if my new listings are on, on my website, maybe I bring them there. Uh, maybe I perform a, a search um, around the uh, around that, that property. And uh, I just save that search. And now I'm just going to link to that saved search on my website to draw some traffic there. I could, I could do that. Uh, you can edit things in a way that, you know, similar to any other um, uh, email platform, uh, you, know, you can make it bold, italic, and so on. What, whatever you have, whatever it is that you want to send, you just uh, save. Oh, and here's that error, error message. They said, I have two other uh, action steps that I have not yet completed, so I got that error message. Good reminder. So now I have to uh, make a call. You do have to give, uh, any phone call, a title, and that's what's going to show up in your actual task to call the contact. You can even uh, write a description or go so far as to uh, write out um, an entire script if you wanted to. It's not required. Uh, you can tell what's required based on the asterisks, and there's no asterisk there. And then you can also uh, create a task. Uh, if it's something where it's a touch like a mailer, uh, like we're actually reaching out to them, you can keep it as a touch. Or not touch, like for example, for me, I would uh, add a contact to BombBomb, Bomb, which is a video email service. This is actually a, a Bomb Bomb recording, believe it or not. Uh, you could write more details in there, uh, and, um, and and there we go. Now we can save it. If we want to reorder. Like I said, we could just uh, click, and now uh, the phone call has dropped below the task and so on uh, we can click on these arrows to minimize them and you'll notice that because i had a one day um delay after day one now everything else is showing up on day two now there are some restrictions when it comes to creating a smart plan i think uh last i checked you cannot have more than seven tasks or seven action steps within um within a seven day span. So if you're doing something like this where I've already used four, I probably have to use a longer delay uh, to kind of give everyone a break, including myself. Uh, or, and I think there might be a, a maximum of like 30 steps or something like that. I do have one response plan that goes on forever and ever and ever. Uh, and what all I've done to solve that problem uh, of having a, a, a smart plan that's too long is I've, I've filled one all the way up and added to a smart plan and created a second one and just continued it on. But uh, I think the bulk of people who are watching this probably aren't as crazy as I am when it comes to the whole buy or die uh, mentality. When you're all done, you just click save and you've made a whole new smart plan. All right, so now uh, we figured out how to bring smart plans over that have been cre pre-created for us. Uh, we, we know how we can create our own smart plans. Let's start to add our contacts to them. So we're going to go to contacts, which is uh, the the second icon here. And um, what you can do within contacts, if you just wanted to add a bulk uh, list of people to the contacts, if they all have the same tag, well, you can sort by that tag. You can click on all of them, or you know, right now I think it's a maximum of 50. So 
you can click on all 50 and uh, I'll wait for that to populate. Sorry, my internet's very slow here. Um, apparently, nobody has anything to do here during coronavirus days except uh, be on the internet. So uh, you click and you, you now selected everybody on that page. You can select a bulk action and uh, down towards the bottom here, you can add to the smart plan and you can find that smart plan. Now, once again, you probably want to uh, sort by particular um, tags that you created, however you organize your business. Uh, so if you wanted to add all of your sphere to the quarterly call plan or something, you can do that. And actually one of the cool things with, um, with smart plans is that it knows if you ask somebody, a, a huge bulk group of people to a plan, um, that you probably don't want them all starting that plan at the same time because uh, when it comes days for phone calls, now you just, uh, giving yourself 50 phone calls to make. Uh, so what it will ask you to do is if you want to stagger them, meaning uh, you can pick out the maximum amount of people per day who can go onto that plan. Let's just say it's five or 10 or whatever it might be. So uh, even if you do a bulk a bulk ad like that, um, you can stagger it so you don't end up all, you know, having all the same tasks on the same day kind of thing. Now you can also manually go into a, uh, a contact And uh, the third um, option over is smart plans. And uh, you open up that uh, that tab, it says, hello, Ryan. It looks like Aaron LeClerc doesn't have any smart plans yet. And you would click to add a smart plan. And then all the smart plans that you have in my, my smart plans now show up. It's, for me, like I said, it's a long list. And if I wanted to add him to that, uh, that Smart plan just created, which is probably all the way down at the bottom. It might not even be visible yet. I could just select there and he'll be added to it. I'm not going to do that because he would immediately get a text message, uh, but that, that's how you would do it. And then uh, what you would see is um, when you close this, that he now has a smart plan and any tasks that are due, that is due today, due in the next couple of days, or that's overdue would show up in the, the tasks tab. Another way to see what you have to do for the particular day is to click on the tasks tab right here as well, and it'll bring you uh, to where you want to go. Um, so uh, just one one more thing here, which is sort of the, the best practices when it comes to uh, the smart plant and and what people should be on. Um, if it's uh, if you have like completely unqualified leads, it might not make too much sense to add them. To, to that many smart plans. Uh, I've added anybody who owns a home or who was looking in particular neighborhoods to uh, the monthly neighborhood nurtures. And that was it for my, my unqualified leads. Uh, as I have had conversations with people and I've qualified them, I've gotten them on time time frames, I've added them to uh, additional smart plans. Um, but really I wanted to talk about the uh, um, you're, the people that are closest to you, whether you call them sphere of influence, circle of influence, um, if you have a, a wide reaching your know, network of close friends, uh, that's that's awesome. I wish I was you, to be honest. It would make, make this job hell a lot easier. Uh, then um, the command has a lot of ways for you just to uh, be reaching out to them. Uh, and what a lot of top agents are recommending uh, you do is to add them to uh, four different smart plans. Um, the first is uh, either a monthly or the bi-weekly neighborhood nurture for their neighborhood, uh, whether they rent or they own, just make, put them on their, uh, um, that, that smart plan so they start to get some really cool uh, information about what's going on, not just in terms of real estate, though it has a lot of that. Uh, it, it has you know, school uh, student teacher ratios, it has commute times to work, things like that if, if they want to enter their job. And that gets really useful as people are starting to uh, look at um, moving to a new community, uh, they might want to know, it, like they can add that neighborhood and um, see how long it's going to take them to get, get to work. So uh, that one of those two neighborhood nurtures, whether it's monthly or, or bi-weekly, um, add them to the uh, quarterly call plan. Um, you can use, if you've taken never-ending referrals or the new bold, they can talk about DTD2, which is uh, do the database too. Uh, it's a particular way to set people up on a quarterly call plan. So you feel free to use that system or whatever system makes sense to you. Just, you know, add them to that call plan so that you are in touch with them as much as you need to be. Uh, a third uh, plan would be the uh, the birthday plan. 
Um, that actually has, I, I think it actually has four touches in it. It has a, a card, a reminder to send to them a card. Um, it has a text message, a social media post, and a phone call. Uh, so you kind of overdo it on the birthday. Uh, or you can kind of pick and choose what you actually want to do. Um, and then also the uh, the home anniversary plan. So if you add them to, to those, uh, you're going to end up somewhere between, let's see, uh, 12 plus 4. And we'll, we'll just say uh, one each for the birthday. So it will give you somewhere between 18 and uh, 32 touches uh, already right there. Um, and then you can add people, to, like I use a, a monthly a bomb bomb newsletter, uh, which is just a video newsletter, uh, or or something else that you, you create and send out to your sphere to get your additional touches. But if you get them on those four, you're already somewhere between 18 and 32 touches for the year, which is a good spot to be. Some people obviously go way more than that, but get to uh, at least some of the, the, the main ones done. So that's just a little bit about uh, – uh, smart plans, um, you know, feel free to reach out with any sort of uh, comments or questions. But uh, I think we gave you all the information you need to go through your database and at least start to add the people that are most important to you to smart plans. And I, I probably would go through first my, my sphere and then uh, my qualified contacts. And then I would worry about the rest. But I probably go in, in that order because that, that's pretty much the order of, of business in terms of where your, your next deal is likely to come from. All right. Hope you guys have fun with this one. I know a lot of people are waiting for a while for smart plans to come out, especially the customizable one. So it's here. It's a CRM. It's good to go.